Hi everyone, so this is Marina from The Mystic Shop and I just kind of feel compelled to make this video because lately I've been having conversations with friends and co-workers and just uh, new clients blessedly coming my way that are interested in my services like my Reiki and uh, just energy healing services in general and I'm finding myself talking to people more and more about um, what it's like to be a client and also a practitioner of Reiki um, and how I guess the most important point that I'm trying to make is um, when you are signing up for a Reiki session you are signing up to receive energy from the person so even though ideally we'd like to be um, you know no bias filters of reiki just coming straight down from the universe toward you through us i don't think it really works that way based on my own experience and talking to other energy practitioners it seems to me that even though we'd like to just be a clean filter only passing down reiki to the client ultimately we're also passing down bits of our own energy to the client so when you are choosing someone to work on you make sure that you feel comfortable with this person and you like their energy because you are about to receive a small dose of that energy into your own energy field. Do you trust the person? Do you feel like pieces of them being inside of your energy is acceptable to you? Or does it feel gross to you? Because sometimes there are people that just, we don't want pieces of them in our energy. And I don't think enough of us really realize this. We just think, oh, we can go to anyone and get some Reiki. But the person you're getting Reiki from, you are taking pieces of them into yourself. And ultimately, as the healer, as the practitioner, we are also making that connection with you. And again, I don't think enough practitioners maybe talk about this, tell their clients about this, or really even think about this themselves. We are making that connection. It is a connection that's going both ways. and. I know ideally it's just going one way and it's pure Reiki only, but I don't think it's really always like that. And ultimately, again, we are making that connection. Pieces are going back and forth between us, okay? I just really want to clarify this. Most of the people I talked to seem so shocked by this idea. They've never heard this before. It was such a new concept and I really feel called to share it with my followers and my friends because most of us are interested in these services or are practicing these healing modalities. Um, I also want to mention that for those of us that are versed in multiple healing modalities, like for myself with shamanism, for example, sometimes we naturally feel that the client needs one of our other healing modalities, for example, a shamanic extraction. And for those of us that have been doing this for a long time, we feel compelled right there and then during the Reiki session to just call to our spirit helper and grab out the pieces that don't belong from the energy field of the person in front of us instead of having them come back for a whole separate session. Um, if we feel comfortable enough with this other modality, we can just quickly switch to the other modality and then go back to Reiki again. So again, when you're signing up for a Reiki session, all sorts of things were happening there. You're not just getting a funnel of Reiki, like in the kitchen with water, coming down into you, the end, you left the, the person and you went home and you just have some Reiki in you. Um, pretty sure a good percentage of the time you're getting pieces of the person, you're getting other modalities in there as well. Many of us switch without necessarily consciously going, okay, I'm gonna switch to shamanism now, you know, and I'm gonna do extraction. Sometimes after you've been doing this for enough time, you're basically just seeing this as you have a person in front of you, there's imbalances that you can sense. What can you do to rebalance this? And you're not forcing yourself to stick in the Reiki box. You're allowing yourself to go to whatever other things you know how to do. So for example, for me, I know how to, I, I like thinking that I know how to balance chakras in my own way, my own Marina way. Um, and I will in include that in my sessions. So the main point I'm trying to make is make sure you're comfortable with the practitioner and you with the practitioners. I, I don't know if it's a great idea to just have people off the street coming and maybe some of you feel like you can protect yourselves better than I can. Maybe I'm just too open. I'm an artist. I'm a new mom. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I just can't put up enough of a wall between me and my my client, the person I'm trying to connect energetically with, to be like, I'll only send you Reiki, but I'm not taking anything back from you because it just doesn't work like that 
from my experience and all the years I've been doing this. Pieces go back and forth. So we all need to be aware of that when we're making these connections with each other, okay? Because I've had people tell me that they have had things happen after the sessions um, that kind of tell me that maybe the person, the practitioner wasn't the right person for that client. Or maybe the practitioner took on a client they shouldn't have, knowing that it's not the right person for them to work with because they're not acknowledging that they are taking pieces from the client as well and then they will be walking around with those pieces. And I know there are ways to cleanse ourselves and, uh, you know, get the pieces out of ourselves again, but I'm just, everyone's at different levels of being able to do this and being able to push out pieces of other people's energies. And sometimes it's harder than other times and sometimes we're more vulnerable than other times. So basically, again, my main point here with this pretty long video now is please think who you're connecting with. It's not just a simple thing. You're not just in a grocery store buying lemons from somebody. You know, this is like a real energetic connection, sometimes following you for months and you just can't understand what happened. So be more aware, friends. That's all me and Leo wanted to share with you this morning. Thank you for listening.